Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Janelle Slade. And I'm Jay Cohn. We start with some sad news tonight. Former Montana Senator Conrad Burns passed away today. He died at his home in the Billings Heights this afternoon at the age of 81. Burns represented Montana in the U.S. Senate from 1989 to 2007. Prior to that, he served on the Yellowstone County Commission, but first became well known as a farm and ag broadcaster on Montana radio and television. Conrad Burns was one of the most colorful characters in Montana politics. He shocked the political establishment when he pulled off a stunning upset in 1988, defeating incumbent Senator John Melcher, becoming only the second Republican to represent Montana in the U.S. Senate. One of his first jobs in Montana was a cattle auctioneer for the Billings Livestock Commission. In 1975, he founded the Northern Ag Network and gained statewide notoriety. His time in public office was never boring. His famous sense of humor sometimes off-color humor got him into trouble, but voters were quick to forgive. Former Congressman Denny Reber, who served alongside Burns in Congress tonight, told us that Conrad was a good friend who told him, take your job seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. We had a chance to speak tonight with former Montana U.S. Marshal Dwight McKay, who served with Burns on the Yellowstone County Commission. He was not only my best friend, but, you know, we, we traveled this state, this great state of Montana for many years, and he knew everybody and every crick bottom all over the state. And uh, he knew their, their trials and tribulations and, you know, what worked and what didn't work. And I think, in my view, he was probably one of the best senators that this state has ever seen. Senator Burns also served alongside Senator Max Baucus, who is the current U.S. ambassador to China. He called us tonight from China after learning the news. That is such a wonderful guy. You know, I don't know anybody who had Montana blood and goodwill in his veins as Conrad. He had just he, he just loved the state. He loved Montanans. He uh, down to earth. That reminds me. He had this great phrase that Montana is a lot of dirt between light bulbs. He kind of captured that pretty well. He has a great sense of humor, always a wonderful sense of humor, always saw the light side of things, never really complained about things at all. And uh, during the time that we served together in the Senate, a couple of things that really strike me. One, even during all the partisanship going on in Washington, Conrad and I never let that ever get in the way. We were just always together and joking and talking about things, one thing or another. And he, he always referred to Washington as kind of that logic-free zone, and there's a lot, frankly, there's a lot of merit in that comment. Conrad definitely had a way with words. Huntley State Senator Taylor Brown worked for and now owns Northern Broadcasting, a company Burns started back in 1975. Brown tells us tonight he's grateful for Burns caring about the common man, the rural person, kids, property rights, and the West. Well, I think Conrad had the ability to draw people to him. You know, he had a great sense of humor, and people loved being around him, and the outlandish things he'd say and the way he'd look at life was so fresh and so different than most people that even the people that disagree with him, maybe even politically, they still kind of liked to be around him. He was just colorful, and he was a little bit comical, and he said what was truly in his heart. Conrad was inducted into the Montana Broadcasters Hall of Fame as recently as 2008. In 2013, he was interviewed by Q2's Vic Miller and recalled his decision to run for the Senate. You know, you never forget what you learned at the county level. You know, you, you took, I took that to, to the Senate. And, uh, but that, when I ran for the Senate, I said, I went home and told Phyllis, she said, you've lost, I told her, I said, You've lost your mind. You've absolutely lost your mind. And Phyllis, you know, she's been right more she's been wrong. But not this time. Well, she wasn't that time. <laughs> That's right. But it, it, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful ride for me. I'm wholly blessed. I really am. Again, U.S. Senator Conrad Burns passed away today at the age of 81. He suffered a stroke in 2009, and although he still had trouble getting around and it affected his speech, it did not affect his famous sense of humor or his penchant for telling stories. And we're told he gathered today with his coffee group this morning 
and after returning home to see his wife Phyllis off to her bridge group, he passed away in his favorite chair. Funeral arrangements for Senator Burns are still being worked out. He is survived by his wife Phyllis and two children, Keeley and Garrett.